trust was broken when King Saul in the Old Testament called for the shepherd boy David to come play his harp and then tried to spear him while he was playing. A little while later, David came to another concert to play and King Saul tried again. And that time, trust was completely broken. David had to run and hide from him for the, in the wilderness for about 15 years. So obviously, the scripture is very clear that not everyone in the world can be trusted. And our world is made up of all kinds of people. And the Bible is very transparent about them. Now, there's huge differences between people, but there's some general categories that the Bible seems to talk about people. It divides people generally into three categories, the wise, the foolish, and the evil. Well, I think life would be so wonderful if everybody was wise. Yes. <laughs> but the reality is we can't deal with everyone in the same way. If we try to deal with a foolish person in the same way we deal with a wise person, he will drive us crazy. If we deal with an evil person at all, we may lose our family or our own life. If we can identify these three types of people, it will give us some guidance on who we can trust. So how do wise people respond to truth? Let the wise listen and add to their learning. When a wise person sees the light, they take it in and they make adjustments. When you give wise people feedback, they embrace it positively. Wise people show remorse over their shortcomings or mistakes. Now, in contrast to that, how do foolish people respond to truth? The scripture says, fools despise wisdom and instruction. They think their own way is right, but the wise listen to others. You know, the foolish person tries to adjust the truth so that he doesn't have to adjust his life. The fool thinks they're never wrong. Someone else is wrong. Foolish people have little or no awareness or concern for the frustration that they cause others. Foolish people see themselves as the victim and view anyone who confronts them as persecutors. That's foolish people. Well, how do evil people respond to truth? Evil is cold, unfeeling, always masterfully portraying their motives and behavior as innocent. That's not what I meant. Evil uses arrogance and mockery to escape being shamed. Evil people seek to destroy, so we need to do whatever it takes to protect ourselves from them. 